Today on the show, we have the Physical Readiness Program Policy Changes NAV Admin that comes out tomorrow. That's right, we have it here now, and we're going to break it all down for you, so here's your first look. First up, I know what some of you are thinking, I don't like change, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay, okay, I know. So why are we doing this? I spoke with CMP and he broke it down for me. This is based on fleet feedback. The goal is taking the focus off just passing a test and putting the focus on long-term sustained health and fitness. As opposed to a system that was uh, punitive in nature, i.e. you pass or you fail and you get so many failures and then we process you out, uh, we don't really talk about uh, better health. This program is designed to talk and incentivize about better health for sailors. This program is all about being prepared year round. Instead of looking at sailors health twice a year, commands are encouraged to look at sailors fitness day in and day out using tools like spot checks and command PT as a way of ensuring sailors are always ready. Spot checks aren't recorded for the PFA, but the command can get you extra attention through the fitness enhancement program to get you back where you need to be. Next, the BCA will be done three ways. First, it's the same height and weight tables you're used to. Outside of that, you go to a single site abdominal circumference. If you're under 39 inches for male or 35.5 for females, you're good. Outside of that, you get the body circumference measurement to determine body fat percentage, which uses the DOD maximums. Sailors who fail the BCA will fail the PFA. That's not a change, but now those sailors will still test. But I already failed, why am I testing? Well, it's part of diagnosing the problem. The Navy wants to see where you really stand. Then let's get you in FEP and get you back in standards. And let's put a little pepper on that because starting in 2016, two failures in three years will initiate processing for administrative separation. This is a change from the previous three failures in four years. And with that narrow tolerance comes an initial grace period. If you have one, two, or even three failures, the Navy will reset you to one going into 2016. That's right, even if you have three failures and are being separated, you can get a second chance to stay. Any admin separation for fitness failures will be stopped at the sailor's request if that sailor can pass a PRT before the 1st of December. So that's the basic nuts and bolts of the changes coming out tomorrow. There's more details in the NAV admin, and this is actually one of those ones you're gonna wanna read. There are more changes coming to the Navy Fitness down the line, awards for superior performance, fitness trackers, nutrition programs, but those are still in the works. For more information, check out my full interview with the Chief of Naval Personnel. This is being rolled out early to make sure you're prepared when it goes into effect next year. Get your questions answered before that time. You can write us, usmpeople at gmail.com, or just leave a comment. We will be answering them. That's it. Thanks for watching.